So now let's go through a quick summary of what we've talked about with machine code and immediates and encoding. So we've seen that instructions have different encodings in MIPS, and we do this to store different types of data. So we have some instructions that have three registers, some that have some immediate fields, some that have bigger immediate fields. In MIPS, we have these three different types. We have R format, which gives us three instructions and no immediate. I format, which gives us two instructions and a 16-bit immediate. And J format, which gives us no registers, but gives us a full 26-bit immediate. We've seen that encodings limit how much data we can have. And these are design trade-offs. So MIPS optimizes for the common case. That are these short immediates in one instruction. So 16 bits in a single instruction. But it also supports the general case, which are long immediates, but it takes two instructions to do that. So the design of MIPS was very clever. They looked at code and they figured out what do you need. Remember the graph we saw about how many jumps you can do with 16 bits of immediate field. And they looked at code and figured out how often do you need long immediates versus short immediates and discovered that it was best to optimize for short immediates. So they carefully chose this as a trade-off when they designed it, and it turned out to be a pretty good one. So question, how is the 16-bit immediate field in the add i instruction converted to a 32-bit immediate for adding to the 32-bit register value? Well, the answer is the 16 bits are sign extended. So arithmetic operations have their 16-bit constants or immediate values sign extended. And we can take a look at this. So here I have an example, r3 is 12, and we're going to do an add i r4 r3 minus 12. So here's r3, it's 32 bits, it's got the value 12 in it. Here's our 16-bit immediate from the instruction, which is minus 12. And you'll notice here that the leftmost bit is a 1. So when we sign extend it, we're going to end up with 1s going all the way across here. So now here's our 32-bit sign extended value. We're going to go ahead and add it. And not surprisingly, 12 plus minus 12 gives us 0. And so this is how the sign extension allows us to do the 32-bit add to get the right value. So another question. What does the I format instruction trade off relative to the R format instruction? Well, it trades off the third register, the shift amount, and the function for a 16-bit immediate. So it's this trade off right here. So we get rid of this third register that we can specify. We get rid of the shift amount and the function amount, and instead we get a 16-bit immediate. So now you see why we can't have a branch instruction that compares two immediate values, because we'd have to fit in another 16 bits in here somewhere, and we don't have that. 